So another very late night for me. It's half past midnight on a Sunday night or Monday morning now. Um, Ethan had just been a little bit grumpy and I wasn't quite happy with the way he was. And then when we got home, he had been quite sicky in the car. And by the time we got home, he felt really hot. So we took his temperature and it was 38.3, which is a little bit, obviously there's a little bit of a fever. So unfortunately that meant a trip to the hospital. Here we are, it's nearly midnight. Maybe Ethan's awake. Don't know why you're awake. He's not very happy about it, to be fair. But um, yeah, so we're just waiting for his antibiotics to run through his IV. And then we're going to jump in the ambulance and whiz our way down to Great Ormond Street. Super fun. What do you think? I don't know what that means. He's, he's a bit grumpy, as you can tell. I'm very tired. Can you do that? No. Desperate times, of course, that Ethan to um, fashion a weapon that was catheter. At the moment, he's only like danger himself. <laughs> what Ethan's got? It's got some medicine going in there. Some wow, vancomycin, I think. <laughs> so you got a wand, a microphone, your son, and twist it. Come <laughs> on, it's very cross. Probably because it's half past midnight. Yeah, well. He's done me into his mouth while he's asleep. Oh my god. <laughs> he did it. That was fairly impressive. Oh no, it's coming again. I think you did that yourself, then. Eh? You don't want to help him, but it'll just come straight out again. It gets a bit frustrating. Oh, it's now 20 to 2 in the morning. Oh, 20 minutes or so, and then we jump in the ambulance. Hurrah! Go on, get him. Oh, get away from him. Get away from him. It's like fishing. No. Trying to catch a marlin or something. Whatever a marlin is. Hey. I could watch this all night. No. Oh. So I'm not looking my best. <laughs> it's um. Oh, they're probably about half past four in the morning at Great Ormond Street. I'm just having some cornflakes. Um, barely for breakfast, a bit late for dinner. Ambulance ride was uneventful. I fell asleep on the way, which is unusual. Uh, he's been all checked in, um, been fussed um, round by the nurses. I haven't seen him for quite a while. Um, he's well looked after. Um, and he's all smiling, he's hardly slept, but he's all smiling now, so I wish he was a bit of a fraud when you turn up at the hospital, and um, actually, he's okay. <laughs> Temperature's down a little bit, um, he's going to get treated for 24 hours, so he's going to get dialysis for 24 hours with antibiotics in the bag. Um, I'll test him again, uh, test a sample of his dialysis fluid in the morning, and just see how it's going, and then if that's clear, then we might actually get home, but I'm not going to hold my breath, let's see. Here's the view from Ethan's window. Doing a lot of building work at the moment. Mainly related to whatever that is there. My bed, I actually had a bed last night, which is a bit of a bonus. I haven't made it. <laughs> there he is, fast asleep. His dialysis. And here's his room. 
We're just in the shower. Little tip. Before you go for a shower at one of these places, make sure you've got a towel. I've got through a load of paper towels. <laughs> so I've decided to treat myself to a breakfast while Ethan is, well, <laughs> lying in his bed. So um, I'm in the canteen. Pretty good breakfast. Um, probably not very healthy, but <laughs> I need it this morning. Looking forward to this breakfast. Canteen's pretty decent there. Good lights on the ceiling. Something for the kids. So I'm truly awful when I see a celebrity because I'm not one of these people that can go up to them and say hello. Um, Johnny Wilkinson at the hospital, so um, that's celebrity. <laughs> but, um, they get the likes of Johnny Depp and um, Emma Watson, people like that. Um, today it's Johnny Wilkinson. Where he's going, I don't know. We're still outside the chapel here, which is a bit weird because the hospital's quite modern, but the chapel's really ornate and old. <laughs> and walk down to the, to the um, not cathedral, it's grand chapel, down to the chapel. So Ethan's gone to sleep, so I've decided I'm going to pop out, proving that London is a little bit random. Like, what's this? The significance of this bridge? I really don't know. Crazy. And we're on our way towards St Paul's, which I think is roughly where I need to go. I try not to look like a tourist. I'm now outside St Paul's Cathedral. Um, here we are, Southwark Bridge. Okay, we're in Port Air St Paul's again. And there is where they film um, first dates. <laughs> and, uh, not many videos that get taken here. Right, it's so Nick Knowles, create a garden. And then, D-I-O-S-A, try and say it. DIY SOS. So, um, I've been coming here a year and I've never been into it. I saw them making it a long time ago and, um, and then obviously it was on the telly. Um, never actually found it and I found it today. I thought I'll make the effort and I'll find it. <laughs> it's not the nicest weather for it. I'm going to have a little look around. It's like a nice little place to come and sit out and um, it's still being kept well. It'd be, it'd be lovely on a lovely summer's day, so I'm going to have a little look around. Mm, like that, this is good. Yeah, nice. <laughs> like all the features. It's not as big as I thought it would be actually, I thought we'd be able to walk all the way around. But then I suppose we haven't got much room to work with really. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, they grew some plants on the roof as I remember. So there we go, finally found it. Um, that's another one to tick off the list. You have to love all the little touches I do. I think it's in most hospitals, not this kind of vibrance. The lovely colours on the wall. <laughs> Fantastic. Even the windows are decorated. At the back of my head, <laughs> I've been out to get some food. Uh, Waitrose, ready meal, standard. I'm going to go back and eat it and see how Ethan's getting on. Hopefully, he should be asleep, but he probably won't be. So we'll see how we go on. Um, that's what the back of my head looks like. It's actually not as bad as it normally does. Gosh, it's about 10 o'clock or something. The man's fast asleep. 
So it's half past six in the morning, which is probably why I'm looking so good. Uh, not the best night's sleep, but um, unsurprising, same old story. Um, Ethan seems fine. Um, I'm not really sure what the plan is with him at the moment. Um, I've taken another sample from him from his dialysis to test that this morning, but bar that, I think they're just waiting on the urine sample to grow something and know exactly what it is and then know what they need to um, treat with. I have the issue of what I'm doing about work today because I'm on a late shift, so um, I think one way or the other I've got to go home today. But it's whether Nicola comes down and picks me up or whether I uh, jump on a train, but we'll see. Um, in the meantime, I have um, a uh, coffee, <laughs> which I really need, uh, and uh, we'll see what the day has to bring. Fast asleep. And now it's morning, you can go home, so that's good. So, Nick is on the way to pick us up. Hooray! He realised he was being a fraud and he's not ill at all. Actually, it seems like he's got um, kind of a low grade UTI, um, and nothing more than that, which is good. Um, so, they agreed to let him go home, have some antibiotics at home, um, which is brilliant. So, fantastic news. I'm so glad to get home. Oh, and then go to work. <laughs> you can't have everything, at least you can be home, so that's nice. Um, talking about leaving him off dialysis next week for a night, see how he gets on. That'd be crazy, just because he's doing so well. So, um, so that's all good. Um, and they're talking about transplant. They're saying maybe this year, probably not. But um, I haven't even considered it being this year, so that's quite scary. So, uh, yeah. Um, lots of things to sort out before then. Um, but we're going in the right direction anyway.